Good evening, I'm Lily Rivkin, and you're watching the Yale Daily Minute. On Thursday afternoon, roughly 70 alumni, administrators, faculty, students, and members of the corporation filed into a tent outside of Ingalls Rink to celebrate the start of construction on the two new colleges, a project set to be completed over the next two and a half years. Work on the site began in the fall, and though the original groundbreaking was slated to occur in February, the event was moved to the spring due to concerns of weather and travel conflicts. The two new residential colleges will give 800 more students the opportunity to study at Yale. In March, Yale Dining and Local 35 agreed to give former head pantry workers the opportunity to return to their residential college dining halls. Prior to this compromise, these employees had been working out of the Culinary Support Center, an off-campus food preparation facility that opened last year. Some workers worry that if they return, there will be no work for them since their jobs don't exist anymore, while others worry that they will lose their labor grade. However, two eagerly accepted Yale's opportunity and are back providing extra hands in the residential dining halls. Today, members of the Yale Law School continued their policing post-Ferguson conference, bringing the nationwide dialogue to Yale's campus. The Justice Collaboratory, a collection of academics at YLS dedicated to the study and practice of criminal justice reform and policy, invited over 40 students, police officers, academics, and community activists to the study hotel. There, the conference attendees heard from speakers who discussed how policing in the United States has been, or should be, affected by the shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson last summer and the protests that followed. That's your news in a minute. See tomorrow's paper for more.